and love the 50 hertz. Okay, not a sunset for the change, but beautiful cloud set. Low clouds and high clouds. I just want to see today if this works. These are Achmania trees, which are weeds. They are an absolute pest. They're growing very fast and they're actually uh, supposed to be removed. So I'm going to try out if I can trim these electrically. Um, this branch hanging over here a bit, so I'll just put a bit of copper wire on there and uh, make a dropper down to my microwave uh, oven transformer setup which runs at 4400 volts. I'm just going to see if it works. I mean, so I've got this there, I've got this pin, so I allow solely for the return path uh, to go back to the, grass, to the ground, so it's the potential this in the earth pin and the tree is, uh, yeah, be careful. Well, the tree is connected and we're going to plug in and see what happens. The unloaded MOT door is about 130 watts. Connected to the tree, the load has gone up to 250 watts. So let's see what happens. Well, there is some smoke appearing at the contact point. And we'll see if the tree prunes itself off. So I got a closed circuit, which is actually quite interesting. The load has gone up to over 300 watts. The cooling system is working fine. MOTs are happy. I'm just curious where the branch is going to break, whether that's on the point of contact or does more damage downstream. The power from the main storm is about 1 ampere, 1.3 ampere, so not excessive. I'll keep this thing going, I'll be editing all the excess out. I see smoke and the load has gone up to 405 watts, it's going up. I can see little whiffs of smoke coming out of the tree. Uh, that's actually interesting, huh? Glad 4.4 does seem to work alright. Here we've got the nice sparkles happening already a little bit, so the contact point is there. So the electrons going from there upwards through the stem into the trunk of the tree. Looking pretty cool, little sparkles. Of course using a normal cutting device will be a lot quicker, but I just need to prove the principle that it works. Smell the smell of burning wood. Nice little sparkles of the branch, it's carbonizing slowly. These are still happy. Smoke is being emitted from the tree. I do have to admit it's not the most efficient way of uh, pruning trees, but I am just pulling the principle. A higher voltage would definitely be quicker. I may do a grounded delta. It's 11 or 22 kV, but I just want to see for portability purposes that uh, Microwave transformers are not that hard to move around. 
Ah, we've got a little fire on the tree now, it's burning. And there we go, it's burning so hot. Oh, beauty. Now we've got some good arcing. Arcing, this is near the thing, I just enjoyed it for Vival. Just let's enjoy it for a few things, we're drawing about. Fluctuating lows between. Mm. or something. Love the 50 hertz. Such a dangerous experiment that it's still quite cool. And the cams will be flowing between the branches and the earth pin which is on the right hand side. I'm just going to take him off. And I'm going to de energize the device. Energize the device. De energize the device. Just want to check the temperature on the devices. Interesting. The smoke being picked up by the sun rays in the tree. Ah, the trans transformators are not that hot, so I'll just burn it out a bit more. Here. The sun is very beautiful. What's it in me though? It's the earth's out, it's absolutely delicious. This was the meter going when the device was doing about uh, 4 to 5 kilowatts, so it was going pretty fast. Sitting at 10 up here, I'm gonna de energize. Thanks for watching. Pretty clean cut, the three branches even still glowing for you all, so yeah, it works not very effective. <laughs>